Hi, it's Matt here and I sincerely hope that this video saves you at least three hours of wasted time, effort and frustration on figuring out how to make your servos work with the Pixhawk. So, if you're like me and been and bought the kit off eBay but you didn't get one of the little arm switches, is that there is two settings which you need to change for you for your board, so your Pixelhawk, to actually move servos. Now, I'm sure you found this video out of sheer frustration. I'm making this video so that you don't have to go through this frustration as well. So with that said, get your Pixelhawk hooked up. So plug the USB in, open up Mission Planner and click Connect in the top right hand corner. Then from the top menu, click on config forward slash tuning. Then on the left hand side, click on full parameter list. Then on the right hand side where it says search, type in safety. Now it will take a few seconds to go through. I did type that in, there we go. And the setting which you're after is BRD underscore safety enable and you'll see this little note here on the right hand side disabling this option will disable the use of the safety switch on px4 for arming use of use of the safety switch is highly recommended blah 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 basically you need to set that to zero so if you double click on that box you currently it's set to zero for me you would type zero as well then on the right hand side click on write params that should then write the parameters to the Pixhawk and then for sanity click on refresh params and let's just go back and we'll type safety in there again on the right hand side and brilliant that has been there and set to zero. The other setting which you need to be aware of is underneath standard parameters and the section called arm checks to perform bit mask and it's the arming check. Okay, now by default, this is ticked to all, which includes the hardware safety switch. Now, what I've been and done is that I've taken the tick out of all, ticked barometer, compass, GPS lock, ins, parameters, blah, 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 all bar the hardware safety switch. And then at the top, click on write params. Excellent. And then for sanity sakes, hit refresh. And obviously you don't do this while you're in the air. So we're not, we're sat at my desk. And we'll click on OK, and then we'll just check that those settings have been saved, which they have been. So if you then go back to your flight data tab, make sure you've got a GPS lock and you've got your battery hooked up and your ESC hooked up. And of course, your servos the right way up, which is the orange lead at the bottom, by the way, is that when you then arm the boards, which you do that by getting your throttle stick and pushing it down to the bottom right hand corner, so if you've ever flown a model airplane before, uh, that's the rudder stick to the right and just pull it throttle down to the bottom right hand corner. The board will then arm and you should then have servo movement. Hey! Like I said, I sincerely hope this, uh, this three minute video has been and saved you at least three hours of frustration. Uh, I got absolutely sick of the board earlier. Uh, and I just had a quick noise around on the iPad and I found the solution purely by accident. So like I said, I hope, sincerely hope this video helps you and your flying adventures. And on that note, from myself, Matt, cheerios.